Let us see how to identify vertically opposite angles. Assuming AB is a straight line and CD is another straight line, then angle A is vertically opposite to angle B. So angle A and angle B are called vertically opposite angles. You can see that from here from D to this B it forms a V shape. Similarly A to C forms a another V shape. Now when two V shapes are formed by two straight lines like that then angle A and angle B are vertically opposite angles. Similarly, you can find that angle C and angle D are also vertically opposite angles. And the relationship is that the vertically opposite angles are equal. Angle A is equal to angle B and angle C is equal to angle D. Now let's try to look at some examples which could be confusing. You see here straight lines AB, EF and CD. Now the angles that are shown there, do you think they are vertically opposite angles? If you said yes, you're wrong and if you said no, you're right. The answer is no because you find that, see the angles formed by these two lines which is EF and CD. If you remove the AB line, the V shape is formed by from here C to E and F to D, right? They are not complete. So these angles are only partial. They are not vertically opposite angles. And because of the line AB, it appeared as though they were vertically opposite angles. Now, this is vertically opposite angles. The two angles that you see now are vertically opposite angles because they are formed by two straight lines that form a V shape. Now looking at this picture, you can see that angle E is equal to angle F because that is vertically opposite angle and angle G is equal to angle H because those two are vertically opposite angles. Now we're going to look at alternate angles. What are alternate angles? Angle E and angle D. I've shown you in the same color for both of them. Angle E and angle D are alternate angles. So alternate angles are equal. Angle E is equal to angle D. Similarly, angle G is equal to angle B. Angle G is equal to angle B and these are called alternate angles. Now removing all other angles, now you can see for clearly, angle E here is equal to angle D and angle E and angle D. These are called alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. Similarly, angle G is equal to angle B and angle G and angle B are alternate angles. You can see that there are another two pairs of alternate angles here. Angle A and angle C are alternate angles. Angle B and angle D are alternate angles. Now we're going to look at corresponding angles. What do we mean by corresponding angles? You can see that angle C and angle D, these two are corresponding angles. Similarly, angle G and angle H, these are corresponding angles. 
and note that corresponding angles are equal. Can you spot any other corresponding angles? You are right. Angle A and angle B are corresponding angles. You see here, they, they are like, it's almost like this shape has been moved straight here, right? But note that AB and CD are parallel lines. AB and CD are parallel lines, and you have a transverse line EF cutting through it. EF. Now, when the line EF cuts through two parallel lines AB and CD, then angle C and angle D, these two are equal because they are corresponding angles. Similarly, angle G and angle H, and angle A and angle B, angle E and angle F, these are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. So this slide shows you angle A is equal to angle B and angle E is equal to angle F. Now we go to the third category called interior angles. Remember interior angles is E and angle B. Angle E and angle B. Note that they are on the same side and they are on the inside of these two lines, right? So angle E and angle B are called interior angles and the sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. Angle G and angle D are again interior angles and the sum of the interior angles angle G plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Let's move on to properties of triangles. What are the properties of triangles? Now, the first property that is applicable for any three-sided figure or any triangle ABC is the sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees, which means angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So this is the most basic property of a triangle the sum of all the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees now what you see here angle e this line bc when it is extended right along bc the angle formed here is called the external angle all right this is outside the triangle or if this is external to the triangle and this is called external angle the external angle is equal to the sum of addition of the interior I mean angles inside opposite angles so it does not include C it includes the angles on the opposite side so angle E is equal to angle A plus angle B this is another property of the triangle exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its internal opposite angles so to summarize the two properties that we saw just now are sum of all angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees and the external angle is equal to the sum of internal opposite angles Now let's see the types of triangles. The first one that you are looking at here is an equilateral triangle. Equi. The word equi means equal. So equilateral triangle means that all sides are equal. So the length of all the sides of the triangle are equal, which is shown by these lines that has been drawn here. You know that when you draw a line like this, it means that the length of these lines are equal so for an equilateral triangle all sides are equal and because of that all angles are equal to 60 degrees angles all the three angles are equal to 60 degrees the next that you see here is an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal 
all right two opposite sides are equal and you see here this side and this side is marked with this line which in means that the length of this and the length of this line is equal and because of that when you trace back to the base of the two lines these two angles are equal all right so in this triangle when you trace back to the base of this line the two lines that are equal the angles are equal there 